Postmark A postmark is a postal marking made on a letter, package, postcard or the like indicating the date and time that the item was delivered into the care of the postal service. Modern postmarks are often applied simultaneously with the cancellation or killer that marks the postage stamp as having been used, and the two terms are often used interchangeably, if incorrectly. Postmarks may be applied by hand or by machines, using methods such as rollers or inkjets, while digital postmarks are a recent innovation. The local post Hawaii Post had a rubber stamp postmark, parts of which were hand-painted. At Hideaway Island, Vanuatu, the underwater post office has an embossed postmark. The first postmark was introduced by English Postmaster General Henry Bishop in 1661 and showed only the day and month of mailing in order to prevent the delay of the mail by carriers. In England during the latter part of the 17th century several postmarks were devised for use with the London Penny Post, a postal system that delivered mail and items within the City of London. The postmarks bore the initial of the particular post office or handling house it was sent from along with a separate time stamp. Postage was prepaid and the postmark was applied to the mailed item by means of an inked hand stamp. Some historians also consider these postmarks to be the world's first postage stamps. In the 19th century and early 1900s it was common for letters to receive multiple postmarks indicating the time, date, and location of each post office delivering or transporting the letter and this is still occasionally true, though to a lesser extent. While almost every contemporary postmark includes a location as well as a date, in 2004 New Zealand Post announced plans to eliminate the location on their postmarks and include only the date, however, information about this can be determined by a three-number code on the postmarks. In Great Britain the first postmark employed for the cancellation of the then-new adhesive postage stamps was the Maltese Cross, so named because of its shape and appearance. This was used in conjunction with a date stamp which was applied, usually to the rear of the letter, which denoted the date of posting. Different types of postmarks include railway post offices and maritime postmarks. Postmarks on naval vessels during sensitive operations in wartime are sometimes clean, showing less information than normally to prevent route of travel or other details from falling into enemy hands. Similar to this is the censored postmark overprinted with a black obliteration of the time and place of mailing for similar reasons. The Pony Express used a variety of different postmarks on the mail it carried across the western United States. There are only 250 known examples of surviving Pony Express mail slash postmarks in various collections today bearing one of more than a dozen different types of postmarks. Hawaii Post once had a surfboard mail postmark, for covers that traveled by surfboard. A color postmark is on the United States Postal Service issued collectible envelope commemorating the 2004 inauguration of George W. Bush. While postmarks are applied almost universally by or under the authority of the official postal department, service, or authority in the United States, it is possible to receive a permit to apply your own postmark, called the mailer's permit postmark, and under certain conditions specified by the private express statutes in the United States. A privately carried letter may be cancelled with a private postmark. Unofficial entities that issue RT stamps may use postmark-like markings as well. Markophily is the study of postmarks and there are many published work on postmarks covering the topic from before 1900, such as the fancy cancels, until the present day. These include the so-called fancy cancels of United States to modern machine postmarks. Fewer postmarks are used now than previously, with the advent of meter labels some types of computer-vended postage, and computerized postage that people can print from their own PCs. These indicia are not always postmarked by the post office but if put into the mail stream later than the date listed on them, they are postmarked about 50% of the time. Because of this, it is a bad idea to try and use the date on your postage as a postmark. An official example relating a numismatic item to postmarks occurred on April 13, 1976 when the U.S. issued a new $2 bill. People could buy the bills at face value, add a first-class stamp, and have the combination postmarked to show they were the first day off issue. Large numbers of these were produced and they remain common. When the first universal postal system was started in the United Kingdom with its penny black, the postmark used red ink for contrast. This was not successful and the stamp was changed to non-black color so that the postmark could use black ink. The majority of postmarks today are in black, with red following, though sometimes they are in other colors. This is particularly true in the case of pictorial postmarks if the color in question has some connection to the commemoration.
In 2004 the United States Postal Service announced plans to introduce first-day digital color postmarks to be used to cancel some first-day covers for commemorative stamps in 2005 and this practice has continued into 2006 and was ongoing as of 2015. Singapore Post offers a postmark advertising service which, strictly speaking, applies to the killer rather than the postmark. Hungarian Post Company, Limited offers a similar service. There have apparently been some postmarks with a producing a stereoscopic or 3D effect where a special viewer is required and is considered more as a novelty than a practical postmark. The study of postmarks is a specialized branch of philately called markophily. It may bring added value to the stamps by their historical significance. Other parameters are the rarity and the attractiveness. In particular, the stamps issued by the Empire of Austria during the 1850 to 1867 period are collected for their variety and beauty. More details can be found in valuation of cancellations of the Austrian Empire. A special or rare postmark can substantially add to the value of a stamp. Also, in addition to everyday postmarks there are postmarks indicating the first day off issue of a particular stamp and pictorial cancellations commemorating local events, anniversaries, and the like and slogan postmarks which advertise an event or pass information to the public. There are some examples of fake covers produced by philatelic forgers, most usually in order to increase their value, in which the postmark has been altered in some way, for example, by changing the date. The postmark is often considered as an official confirmation that a cover mailed item was mailed at a given location at a specific date. For example, the date of the postmark can be quite important. In the United States, the Internal Revenue Service will still consider income tax returns as filed in time though it receives them late if they are postmarked on time, and this date, may have significance as regards legal filings and proofs of service. Entries into sweepstakes and contests, and juried art exhibitions, may likewise have a postmark deadline, and in at least one case it might have significance regarding the date of class withdrawal. A postmark should not be confused with a killer which are lines, bars, etc. used to cancel a postage stamp. Neither should a postmark be confused with overprints generally, or pre-cancel specifically, which generally do not indicate a day. Flight caches, more or less elaborate rubber stamps on an envelope indicating on which flight a cover has traveled via airmail, are in addition to the postmark and are not postmarks either. There are many clubs devoted to the hobby of collecting postmarks. One of those clubs is the Postmark Collectors Club, founded in 1946 and based in the USA. Another is the British Postmark Society, founded in 1958. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.